new apprehensions of the world. I had to go through some incredible experiences in order to finally understand what this actually means. Now, all the way from leaving my country, Serbia, to the mountains of Greece. So, let me start with this. Let's take a look at the world. It consists of constant changes. Night to day, caterpillar to butterfly, communism to capitalism. In fact, I would like to reformulate the today's topic in new apprehensions of change. So, the ability to apprehend, to understand the change, is already making you halfway there. It's making your life so much easier. And this is only one step of the process. The second one, however, is also found in the title. The word apprehension also means being fearful or scared of something unpleasant. Therefore, the second process is new fears of change. You know, our body's usual response to fear is protective. We are scared of it. So, our body usually puts us in comfort and we have nowhere to go. So, I can remember that these two have been there for me through thick and thin, through rough and smooth, and through nights and days. These two, however, sometimes go as friends, but often go as enemies. Helping you understand them will make my mission today and will make your life much easier. And I want you to take a look around yourself and understand this. So, I still remember the day I was 16 years old when out of the blue I found out that I'm leaving my country. We were moving to the Republic of Ireland. I could not believe that's the furthest country away from Serbia in Europe. <laughs> but I had to act on the opportunity given. Therefore, the fear. I was scared of change. I was, I was trembling of change because I knew what's going to happen there. Now, I learned it with the help of a friend. Actually, I was talking to her how I miss my friends in Serbia, and she instantly counterattacked me with a good and a perfect question. Would they come back for you if they had the same opportunity? Of course, she wasn't looking for an answer, and I thank her a lot. What she did is she altered, she changed my perspective. She got me to understand the change I was going through. Change, so you progress. There, there is a joy in change. In fact, for me, looking back at it makes me laugh, but going through it and understand it, it makes you proud. And what made me proud is the fact that only after a couple of months in an Irish school, I got to understand them 100%. I made friends. You see, I was so happy about that fact. But on the other hand, I can still remember my first day of school. I was not so happy. I was instead bombarding myself with now laughable questions. Will anyone understand me? How do, I, how do I greet them? And so on. 
But my two sides, fear of change, an ability to apprehend, to understand the change. Couldn't stop boiling as I was approaching that school the first day, or those friends. They were giving 100% of its abilities to shut down one another. So I want you to nurture these. Take care of them. Now, the thing is, that after my graduation, I realized I wanted to take a year off in order to set myself up, in order to save money and travel. That's what I taught. Questioning it now, I realize, I apprehend why I did it. I was scared. My fear was put together by not finding an adequate school, a perfect university, a perfect environment for me to progress. You see, I didn't want to change just because I had a chance. And that's the point. The, the apprehension, the ability to apprehend, to understand the position, where are you? The fear, the change, the change, where are you? Helped me a lot. It got me to understand there is different ways. There is different routes. There is different ways I could follow. Therefore, my two brothers actually worked together. Now, uh, because first of all, I got them closer to me. And they're work, their symbiosis put me into place to progress, which is wonderful. I finally got to understand how they work. And now on, I want to share an example of a man who actually knew how to take care of these two, the fear of change and the ability to apprehend the change. His name was Mihailo Pupin. He was known as Michael in the USA. Inventor, professor. He's a Serbian and American scientist. A member of French Academy of Science and one of the founders of NASA. Incredible man, in one word. I will cite a quote from his autobiography book, Winning a Pulitzer Prize, saying, when I landed at Castle Garden 48 years ago, I had only five cents in my pocket. Now, it's not a handicap to any boy to be here penniless when he strikes out for an independent career, provided that he has stamina to stand the hardships that may be in store for him. You see what he did here. He realized that for him to go to a better man includes moments of hardships, includes constant moments of hardships. You see, this ability to understand that there will be hard stuff is magnificent. So, what he did here is just by looking at this, we can declare that he is understanding his fear, but his certain determination to do it. And now I would instruct each and all of you to check if there is any five cent coins in your pockets. If you happen to have so, just keep them as a reminder, just to know what it takes. Now, during the year, I actually found out some time to travel. And one of the destination made a huge impact on me. It's Mount Athos in Greece. It was a pilgrimage trip. And uh, in fact, there is groups of monks that live and pray there. 
Our last goal as a group was to climb up 2,033 vertical meters in one day. Having little to no rest, I did face some troubles. On the way up there, halfway through, I collapsed. My arms, my legs, my eyes shut down for a second. And then I started realizing and understanding if I stay there one more second, I will get my fear to put me on. My fear will get to control me. You see, this is an important trick. By this time, you must understand what kind of power the fear actually has. So if you decide to give it more time, it grows stronger. And after some point, it just rules over you. There is no point back. There is no way back. And however, after hitting the top and praising God, I finally understood that these two, fear of change and our ability to apprehend the change, can be controlled and domesticated. Now, you may be asking, Uros, that's all right, we got the point. But let us know how to measure a change. Use a simple trick. The bigger the change, the bigger the fear. So the bigger the fear you have, the bigger the change you are overcoming. And just to conclude, fear of change and ability to apprehend the change will bring you closer to success, closer to happiness, and closer to yourself. So it will help you understand your friends, families, and teachers. And in the very end, it will get you to understand someone else coming just from a different standpoint, because now you will be the one to realize that his or hers only excuse is coming from fear. So I actually want you to master these two, and I want you to nurture them. And after doing so, I want you to open up and spread the word. Thank you very much.